a vision of the future. Blueprints for expansion at Rosslare Europort predict an investment of €350 million Euro in the coming years. €200 million Euro of that to be spent on a renewable energy hub. Our plan today delivers a national plan for the country. 11 metres of depth of water, 50 acres of quayside space and dedicated berths to handle the various shipping that would be required for moving, constructing and installing the turbines uh, along the Irish and Celtic Sea coastline. This hub will see electricity generated by wind farms at sea being brought onshore at Rosslare. By 2030 we're going to have 5 gigawatts of offshore wind on the system and we're going to have 80% renewable electricity. Today's announcement is really important because we will develop these uh, projects off our east coast and off our west coast and off our south coast. We want them to be serviced by Irish ports. Other plans include new facilities for passengers and freight, digitalisation of the ports systems, a permanent border control post and a new access route. Today's announcement uh, just signifies the importance we place on Ross Lair, uh, as a key facility uh, and a key piece of infrastructure uh, for, uh, indeed for the railway and indeed for Ireland as a whole. It's the next phase uh, in, in our development uh, and we see a real opportunity with the offshore wind where Ross Lair can service that industry. A hugely ambitious plans uh, for the future of the region which will have huge impacts in the, in the next 5, 10, 20 years and very strongly aligned with uh, developments coming down the tracks uh, for the South East region. Work on some elements of the master plan will start later this year, with the offshore energy hub due for completion by 2026. Conor Kane, RT News, Rosslare.